Before this video begins, I just want to give a big shout out to my top tier Patreon supporters, William the Weeb and Daoist Soul Weaver. You guys are legends. If you want to go above and beyond in supporting this channel, then feel free to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description as always. Anyways, let's get started. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Knuckles trailer has just dropped seemingly out of nowhere. Like, I genuinely was not expecting this at all, and I don't think anybody was. I think we all thought it was going to come out on Sunday, uh, with the whole Paramount Plus trailery thing happening last week. Um, but, you know, it's, it's here. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, you guys know from uh, my discussion about the Sonic uh, 2 movie that I love uh, how they portrayed Knuckles in that film. I thought it was done brilliantly. I thought it was done with respect. Uh, they added some things, took things away, but the core components of what made Knuckles as a character great were there, were present, and they were strong. And I'm hoping that this TV show can just build on that a little more and maybe start to get into that bit of his character arc uh, about him sort of uh, settling in and taking things a little easier, not being so... Uh, you know, over the top about uh, his his role and his duties and all that. But like I said, super excited and we can do all the discussion-y stuff after the reaction, but let's just jump straight into this. Okay, here we go. Let's hope for something good. You're an alien. You're super powerful. Okay, these are shots from the second movie, which... What do you like to do for fun? I want to know... Okay, signpost reference, that's nice. How good the models look in the TV show compared to the like movies. Or, or yoga. <sighs> okay, okay, look, Sonic's in this, and I'll, I'll be real, so far from what I'm seeing, the, the models and the general quality, yeah, even those effects, they look pretty on par with the movie. Maybe slightly worse, but honestly, it looks really solid. Um... Nope, we are not turning our living room into Okay, I like that. I like how he's trying to bring his knowledge and his culture into this and what he knows. Like setting up this arena. This is not a place of battle, so I will begin my quest. We got the hat! We got the hat! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Look at that. We got the hat. We got the OVA hat. That's nice. That's huge. Um, also, he's riding a motorbike. That... I figured... That's weird. I figured they'd save that for Shadow, but... Okay. Let's just keep going. I don't want to interrupt this too much. Come, Weed. Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. So is this going to be... Let's go get him. Is this gonna be like a Knuckles and Wade Knuckles. team up thing? Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. Okay. He's the key to all oh, my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring okay, so this is gonna be our big villain. Um sorry, this lane is reserved. Worked for Robotnik, you you that's interesting. Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course you need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. Okay, okay, that's a nice subversion. Okay, that 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 machine looked pretty cool. I made a promise. To protect Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I did I see that? I made a promise. Oh god, this is gonna be so difficult to get that. They showed him for like a frame. That's another echidna! Um. <laughs> Wait, hang on. That's. Pa Pacha. Pacha Kamek. That, that's the. That's the. That's the. That's the guy from. Um, what was it? Adventure One. He was like the 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 leader of the the echidna. What the? Huh? All right. Let's finish this off before I really go into the discussion because now, now, now I've got some some real stuff to talk about. I mean, among the stuff I already had to talk about. I 
<laughs> oh shit, that looks cool. Someone's about to get slapped. I think today is gonna mm. be a beautiful day. No hmm? motorcycle stuff. Are you gonna rescue him? No, he must learn to rescue himself. Okay. Um I have some thoughts. Um that's a that's a good trailer, don't get me wrong, I'm excited. Hang on, let me I'll 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 I'll, I'll get back to you guys in just a minute. A few minutes later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've just sort of watched the trailer again and just taken down a few notes over here, uh, and just a few things that I want to talk about in a, in a little bit more detail uh, because this trailer uh, surprisingly had some stuff that I was not expecting at all. Um, and this overall, it does look like it's going to be a good TV show. I think I can say that, and I think we can all agree uh, that this is this is probably going to be a good TV show. Probably the best TV show on Paramount Plus. But then again, based off of shows like Halo, not a high bar to pass, really. Uh, so first thing that I want to say is just a huge positive is that this show looks great from just a technical standpoint and everything, the CGI, the effects, uh, and even the fact that they got in the original voice actors and everything, even for Sonic and Tails. Uh, who are probably just going to be minor roles in this. Uh, I love that they've just bought all that in. It makes this feel higher quality and that they've put, uh, you know, a bunch of effort behind this. They could have very easily just replaced the voice actor or reduced the model quality compared to the movies, you know, lowered the CGI and effects and things like that, but they didn't. And honestly, it shows and it's come out really well. Uh, another thing that I really like that this show has done is that Knuckles feels very much like he's in character. He has those warrior and tribal traits and he's still a very competent fighter, you know, he's still someone you can take seriously, but he also does have that sort of comedic nature to him that he's always had and that comedy, luckily again like in Sonic 2, stems from the fact that he still doesn't understand, you know, human customs, he's not used to these social situations, he's still a bit socially inept, and that is where the crux of his comedy comes from, and that's what makes it so funny, and for a lot of people, even relatable. And I love that they've kept that going here, in fact, the most important thing about this show for me was the characterization of Knuckles, and it looks like that's going to be done some absolute justice. And we get small examples of his character being done well with things like how he's trying to set up this, uh, you know, tribal arena within Maddie's house, because he doesn't understand that that's just not something that you do in someone's house. But that's what makes it funny. I'm so happy that these writers are still honoring these characters and treating them with respect, even if they're not 100% like the games. The core of these characters are, and they stay true to these core traits, and I have nothing but respect for these writers for doing that. And you know, just to discuss how these writers have gone that extra mile, they've done things like including Knuckles wearing the OVA hat, and uh, even at the end of the trailer, we see him doing the drill claw attack from Adventure 2 and Frontiers, and we even see him with flaming fists like from Sonic Heroes, and you guys know me, whenever there's a Sonic Heroes reference, it's automatically a win. And that uh, is the sort of thing that shows me that these these writers and the people behind this show are going that extra mile. It shows me that they've done their research, that they've, uh, you know, that they've actually paid attention. Uh, this isn't the, you know, the about the case of these are people who are just given uh, the series to work with and know nothing about Sonic. These are clearly people who, even if they're not massive fans of Sonic, have definitely done their research on this franchise and seem to know what they're doing. And that's why they can include these little things. And again, it's not, you know, a reference bonanza. It's not like the Mario movie or something where they're just chucking references at you every five seconds to distract you from the movie. Um, this is a case of... They're just sprinkling in these little references, but the substance is still seemingly there. Uh, and uh, I think that's how references need to be done uh, in these sorts of uh, scenarios. So one thing that kind of has me a bit more interested is Wade, because this looks like it's going to be a buddy cop style of thing between Knuckles and Wade, and I'm a bit of a sucker for uh, that sort of trope. I love films like Rush Hour, I love the original Ratchet and Clank game, and hell, even the first Sonic film, 
was essentially a buddy cop story between Tom and Sonic. So we know that these writers can pull it off, but what intrigues me is that Wade, by nature, is a very secondary character. He served as comic relief and wasn't really built to be a main character. And I don't really see him, you know, getting a full Gora Majima treatment or anything like that. So I am curious to see how they'll balance out the comedic and serious moments. But teaming up Knuckles with Wade, while interesting, is one of the very last things I expected. Don't get me wrong, like I said, I don't hate Wade or anything, nowhere near. But I figured they'd probably team up Knuckles with Sonic, or maybe Tails. Especially since I don't see Wade playing a big role in the third movie. Or, you know, maybe this is where they could be introducing characters like Amy or Rouge to help set up the third film. But this does look like a bit more of a fun spin-off show, kind of just like a side quest, and I already have faith in these writers because they've done us and these characters justice uh, in the movies. Okay, now we need to talk about these, the villains, and I'll be real with you guys, I'm not so on board with them, they look pretty generic. I kind of would have liked them to incorporate villains or characters from the games or hell, even the comics. Um, or, you know, why not just bring in Agent Stone? In fact, that's someone else we didn't see in this trailer, Agent Stone. I think that could have been pretty interesting and that is someone who is involved in the previous movies and can help set up towards the third film. But to go back to these villains, I don't see them really being that interesting. This main guy over here, they said he worked for Robotnik, so that could potentially work into his story. You know, maybe he's someone who used to work for Robotnik and got jealous and now wants to prove that he's better than Robotnik. But these two who are working under him and are going after Knuckles to try and collect him, they're the ones that look really just sort of like your standard workaday villain. They don't really look interesting to me. They will have to do some really good character writing here to make these pretty generic looking villains into something good, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So another thing that I want to discuss is uh, Pachakamak over here, and I probably just butchered his name, but if you don't remember, he's the chief of the Echidna tribe as seen in Sonic Adventure 1 and even in the Archie comics. And as cool as it is to see another Echidna, this is raising some questions right now. Like, what does this mean for the Echidna tribe? Did they survive? Did Longclaw survive? Why is he in a bowling alley? Does this mean Tikal is alive too? Does this potentially set up a story involving chaos like in Sonic Adventure 1? Honestly, there better be a really fucking good reason behind his being here in this show because this is the kind of shit that can really impact the future of this connected universe. I really hope they haven't just thrown him in here as a cheap gag, because in my opinion, that would be a huge disservice, especially after how well they've handled the franchise thus far. This is the kind of shit that they can't fumble around with, because this can have direct implications on the character of Knuckles. So I really hope that this is done right, and there's a good reason why Pachakamak is here, and in a bowling alley of all places. So overall, this show does look like it's going to be a little more of a light-hearted adventure, a little bit of a spin-off, um, but honestly, the highs that we've seen here are pretty high. Knuckles' character still looks great. Uh, I'm interested to see the interactions between him and Wade and how that sort of buddy cop style is going to play off. Uh, the villains, like I said, look a bit generic, but something interesting can be done. There's, uh, the, there's, looks like to be a lot of good here, and honestly, I'm, I'm not that annoyed that it is taking a much more light-hearted tone uh, in, in some aspects because we know the third movie is going to have a bit of a darker tone. In fact, I think they actually uh, changed the age rating to be a little bit higher for the third movie and, you know, also we know that Maria has been cast and, well, we know what happens to Maria. This just looks like it's going to be just a really fun and awesome show with some cool moments for all of us Knuckles fans and, to be honest, that's kind of all we really needed from this. I cannot wait for this to release, and I will definitely be making a video on this when it does. We are well and truly knee-deep into this new era of Sonic that I called years ago, and it's just looking better and better. But yeah, that's it from me. What did you guys think of this trailer? Do you like it? Hate it? A bit indifferent? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on to keep up with all future content. 
And if you want to go above and beyond in supporting the channel, then why not check out my Patreon? The link is in the description. And as always, a massive thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are legends. But with all that said, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all you guys next time.